This is a future literacy laboratory, which is a tool or methodology to get a better understanding of what the capability futures literacy is. So future literacy is the capability to use the future in different contexts for different purposes. And um, we're running this lab, as we call it today, about the, the uh, role of gender in future societies to gain insights in uh, how we can use the future to think about uh, the future of gender. And um, yeah, this is a full day, uh, six hour laboratory. So this is a really good example to really get a sense of what the capability is. So that's what we're doing today. So this is the only workshop that runs uh, a whole day and which gives us uh, a lot of time to uh, take the participants on a journey and uh, let them rethink uh, a certain assumptions about gender, ideas about gender, to discuss, uh, create uh, collective, uh, co use collective intelligence uh, to create new knowledge about it. And the role of gender changes uh, throughout society. And uh, because there are still a lot of misconceptions about gender, there's still a lot of bias, discrimination, sexism, etc. So, of course, it's something that is very important uh, to get gender balance, to gender equality, gender neutrality, etc. So, this is a very important, obviously, it's one of the sustainable development goals. So, but it's just as important now as it is in the future. And what we're trying to do is we're using our different uh, ideas and visions, our different imaginations about the future. And the role of gender to really understand what are our assumptions and bias about gender today just to come up with new ideas and uh, imagining different kinds of futures helps you uh, yeah to understand what is really lying underneath our current ideas about gender I expect to generate a lot of energy and enthusiasm about future literacy. I think it's very exciting that UNESCO, for the first time, um, uh, organizes this incredible event to showcase and demonstrate the uh, current uh, energy enthusiasm that already is, what's already out there. Uh, and what I expect to happen is for people to get a lot more insights in what future literacy is, how can uh, they can maybe gain the capability, get, get inspired to um, yeah, start working about it. And it's just going to kind of create a buzz, like, hey, what is going on? This is already happening. I can apply it in design. I can apply it in the arts. I can use it for my own profession, in my own studies, etc. And that is, I think, the main, that's what I expect. That's what I hope. And hopefully at the end of the day, this, all this creativity and energy will come to this, what I hope to be in a really incredible performance at the end of the day. There's so many people from all corners of the world, people that have lots of experience in foresight and uh, in future literacy, as futurists and future studies. Uh, a lot of people that, that, I, that I know, that I've worked with. So there's already a lot of interest. And just by coming together and learning from each other and sharing and really creating new knowledge and inspiring each other, then everybody goes back to their own corners of the world and just going to spread it so I think it's very important to show the world here at UNESCO, but also um, a lot of other people, students, and um, to see that what what kind of yeah the the, the start of a discipline of uh, future literacy, anticipation, future studies. I think this is just the beginning. So um, yeah, I think it's absolutely a great start to just roll it out wherever it may lead, but I think this is a very, very important uh, decision and important uh, event organized by UNESCO. So.